Darbo's theorem is a theorem in the mathematical field of differential geometry and more specifically differential forms, partially generalizing the Frobenius integration theorem. It is a foundational result in several fields, the chief among them being symplectic geometry. The theorem is named after John Gaston Darbo who established it as the solution of the FAF problem. One of the many consequences of the theorem is that any two symplectic manifolds of the same dimension are locally symplectomorphic to one another. There is also an analogous consequence of the theorem as applied to contact geometry, statement and first consequences. The precise statement is as follows. Suppose that theta is a differential one form on an n-dimensional manifold, such that d theta has constant rank p. If theta p equals zero everywhere, then there is a local system of coordinates x1, xn p, y1, y p in which theta equals x1 dy1 plus plus x p dy p. If, on the other hand, theta p zero everywhere, then there is a local system of coordinates x1, xn p, y1, y p in which theta equals x1 dy1 plus plus x p dy p plus dx p plus 1. In particular, suppose that omega is a symplectic two-form on an n equals 2 meters dimensional manifold m. In a neighborhood of each point p of m, by the point car a lemma, there is a one-form theta with d theta equals omega, plus x m dy m. Taking an exterior derivative now shows omega equals d theta equals dx1 dy1 plus, plus dx m dy m. The chart U is said to be a Darbo chart around P. The manifold M can be covered by such charts. To state this differently, identify R2 meters with CM by letting ZJ equals XJ plus IYJ. If phi UCN is a Darbo chart, then omega is the pullback of the standard symplectic form omega zero on CN. Comparison with Riemannian geometry. This result implies that there are no local invariants in symplectic geometry. A Darbo basis can always be taken valid near any given point. This is in marked contrast to the situation in Riemannian geometry where the curvature is a local invariant, an obstruction to the metric being locally a sum of squares of coordinate differentials. The difference is that Darbo's theorem states that omega can be made to take the standard form in an entire neighborhood around P. In Riemannian geometry, the metric can always be made to take the standard form at any given point, but not always in a neighborhood around that point.